while the country people suffer, London enjoyed a carnival of the utmost brilliancy. The Manitoba Theatre Centre has opened its doors to the public once again as they celebrate the launch of their first show in almost two years. Orlando is an adaptation of Virginia Woolf's classic novel, Orlando, a modern take on love, wonder and identity. The biggest thing that I wanted to, to bring my audience was something that was like extremely theatrical that that required lots of invention and stage magic uh, which the show is filled with it's it's you know it's the journey of a poet who over five centuries four and a half centuries uh, is in search of themselves and so it's a fable um, but that time travel uh, and crossing genders and crossing centuries uh, in search of self and uh, it required all of us to be very, very inventive. During this pandemic, live theater actors and crew members were impacted particularly hard. The resilience of the artists in this community uh, has been inspiring. You know, I, I feel like they got hit the worst because they're independent contractors. They go from contract to contract, and, and so if you can't make live theater uh, and you can't be engaged, uh, it's, it's, it, it was hard going for a lot of them. I think everybody that I've talked to is, is really thrilled that Certainly MTC, which is probably the largest engager in the city in terms of theater, um, that we're back and running and that we're, you know, we keep going forward. We got, you know, Orlando's on stage right now. We have three more shows coming up in the new year and, uh, and then a great big season that we're announcing in February. The return to live shows does come with new enhanced safety measures to help keep both the cast members and the audience safe. Safety is kind of paramount in terms of this process. We did rapid testing with our cast members every second day, so we were very, very, uh, you know, careful to make sure that all, all the cast members were safe and all the the creative team as well. Um, and then, you know, we're we're only allowing 50% houses for this show, uh, so there's there's a distance of two seats between every cohort. Kelly says everybody's breathing a sigh of relief and feeling inspired to get back to work and once again performing in front of a live audience. We hadn't met with a live audience for 626 days. So needless to say, I had tears in my eyes when I was doing my curtain speech and I think a lot of the audience did too. It was a pretty momentous occasion for all of us to be back and it's just wonderful. To for those looking to catch a show, Orlando will be running until December 18th. In Winnipeg, Brianna Marcello, City News.